Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of The Daily Mix. We are on episode 9. Yes, 9. I can't believe we are here. We keep doing it. We're doing our thing. Everybody's having fun. People are finding it. I'm glad I can be a help. Now, I did have some ideas on some things that I want to do with my channel in the future. Uh, now that I've been getting some questions from a lot of beginners, uh, such as stuff about RDAs and... I think it's really cool and it's really important to use RDAs when you're getting to um, start mixing your own liquids because you definitely will need it when it comes to flavor testing because it's really kind of counterproductive to have a sub ohm tank or a mouth to lung tank and just pour a whole batch of a liquid that you have no idea how it's going to be, mess up a whole coil, those pre-made coils that they have. I mean, they do have R RBA sections and stuff like that, but um, chances are, if, you, if you're not into RDA, chances are you haven't done RBA either. So, I definitely want to do something like that on my channel. I'm thinking about filming one later today. Just just a basic, no-nonsense, just how, how to use an RDA how to build a, a simple build on one nothing too crazy i'm i'm like the, not the end all be all builder i mean i do know how to make clapped in coils and twisted coils and a couple other coils that the name escapes me right now but i do know how to make some coils and i do i've been using rdas for a while now and they are a necessity when you are uh when you're sampling new liquids you're trying out, when you're in the recipe development process, you definitely want to be able to use an RDA. So I feel like my channel should have at least a couple videos on that. And I can go over like, you know, what my favorite RDA is. Uh, I already told somebody, but I figured I could tell everybody what my favorite RDA is when it comes to price, value, flavor, and all that. But that's for another video. Let's get on to the topic for today's video. So, I have learned how to use OBS a little bit better, so I will be able to share my screen while I'm inputting a recipe today. Which is good news, because I'm hoping that soon I can have an interactive show where I do a live show. And you guys can interact with, interact with me and tell me, like, you know, what you want to mix or what we should try. And we could all have, like, this group mix thing go on, and I just think that would be awesome. So... First order of business. Let's take a drink from the drink. Okay. So, today's mix. Again, I'm going to say these words. And a lot of people say it. I want to do something different. Something I've never tried. I know. You haven't heard that before, right? Uh, I want to make a candy. And... I don't know if candies are really a popular thing, as I've never really vaped a candy vape. Actually, no. That's not true. I vaped a watermelon Jolly Rancher vape, I guess you could call it. Um, and it was good, but I'm not too much into watermelon, so I didn't, like, fall in love with it. But, uh, I want to attempt to do a candy vape, which I've never done before. So, this is a first time for me, and it might be a first time with you. If it's not a first time, and you've made candy vapes before, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you're doing. Let, critique my recipe. Let me know how you suggest going about it. Because believe it or not, the way I might go about it might not be the right way. I mean, I've never, never tackled a candy vape. I have an idea of how to do it. But I guess we can only wait and see how it comes out. So, bear in mind, if these flavors seem crazy, I'm just experimenting. So, let's do this. I'm going to share my screen with you. Oh, actually, let's go over the flavors that I want to use today. I'm going to go down below. So, let's see. Down below. There you go. Give you a little bit better view. So, I want to use... Capella Jelly Candy. There we go. I also want to use Capella Juicy Orange. I also maybe want to use Capella Juicy Peach. And 
And this one is, let's see if we can get it out. Capella Lemon Lime. I might want to use Flavor West Yum Berry, which it is quite yummy, I may add. This one's TFA Sweet Strawberry. Ah, sorry, Sweet Raspberry. And then I got Sweetener, and I also want to use a... St well, I don't know if I'm going to get this on camera. But it's TFA Sour. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to go with that candy note there. Okay, so now we got that. Now I'm going to share my desktop screen with you. And we got it. Okay, so you can see my face. You can see the desktop. Yeah, I've been getting to know OBS. It's pretty sick. Okay, so the first order of business is... I this I already thought of a name for it. I figured the Candyman. Because the Candyman can, I guess. So that's my, my name for it. It's going to be the Daily Mix-Up. Any mix that we do in this video, it, the link for it is going to be in the description. So you can follow along on my ELR account. Uh, and today we're going to do a 30 milliliter batch and we're doing 3 milligrams Nick and we're using uh, 100 milligram per milliliter Nick and PG. Also I'm deciding to do Max VG. I just don't like to deal with propylene glycol unless I have to because it's already in the flavorings. Alright so let's add the first flavoring. So the first one we're doing is Capella Jelly Candy. Alright, and I haven't used this flavoring too much, but I'm going to go with 4. Let's go with 4% on the jelly candy. And then the next flavor I definitely want to use is Capella Juicy Orange. And let's put juicy orange because we do have a lot of fruit flavors here and we don't want the percentage to be too high up. Let's do juicy orange at two. No, let's do it at three. Next flavor is Capella Juicy. I can't speak. Capella Juicy Peach. And Capella Juicy Peach. Let's do that one at two. Actually, better yet, let's do Juicy Peach at one. Because I don't want it to be so pronounced. I kind of just wanted to work off the orange a little bit. I kind of wanted to work together. So, next up is uh, Capella uh, Lemon Lime. And I'm guessing that lemon lime is pretty strong flavor. I just got this one, this lemon lime flavor, because of I want to try uh, not Charles Manson's pebbles, and I haven't mixed it up too much, so. Hmm. Okay. Um. I do like that flavor. Let's do this one at 2. 2%. Two okay. Next up. Should we do Yumberry? Why not? Why not? Let's do it. Again, put it in the comments below. I want to hear from you. What's your favorite candy mix or fruit mix? I would really love to know. So let's do Yumberry. Why isn't this coming up? There it is. Okay, so we'll do Yumberry at...
Let's do this one at uh, three. Percent. And actually, I'm going to up the jelly candy to 5%. I think that's a better idea. Now, sweet raspberry. To work off that yum berry a little bit. Okay. So let's do sweet raspberry at 2%. And then we're going to do sour, the TFA. We're going to do sour at 1%. And then the optional sweetener, because of course it's candy. We're going to do the optional sweetener at 2%. Now again... Sweetener is optional, but seeing as it's a candy, and because I love to vape sweet juices, you can choose to keep it in or leave it out, but it's a candy, guys, so. Again, I'm new to candies. This has never been done before. Okay, so let's look at the numbers. We got 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we are pretty good. Let's just run down the flavors. So jelly candy at five percent, juicy orange at three percent, juicy peach at one percent, cap lemon lime at two percent, yum berry at three percent, raspberry sweet at two, and the additives. Hmm. I think we should take one from the lemon lime, put that 1%, and then add another percent to the orange. I think that's a good idea. I wish you guys could talk back to me and be like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> but I think that's good. Alright guys, so let's just mix it up. Let's waste no time. I'll put it as public once I uh, release this video. I don't want to startle anybody who's following me. Okay, so let's see. Big face down. There we go. So, mixing time. Let's do it. Oh, and today. Vaping on blue nuts. It's uh, Wayne Walker's recipe. Kind of been on a blueberry bakery bender lately and vaping a lot of it. It's so good. Alright. Just gonna put this bad boy on. Now, if you guys want to see me mix anything, as always, leave it down below. If you have an idea of something that you want to see me mix, or if you want me to release one of my really good recipes, just let me know. Like, let me know what you're into. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, the only way I know is if you ask, you know. I mean, I have a lot of stuff, but this show in particular is meant for experimenting and seeing the experimenting process from start to finish. So that, that, that's why I'm doing something like this, something I've never done, don't have experience with, because that way you'll see how I will work all the possible scenarios and make it as perfect as I can get it. And then that also comes in where you guys throw in tips as well. So, okay, enough yapping. So first one is cap lemon lime. If you're new, always shake your flavors. Cap lemon lime goes in at 1%, so that's 0.3 grams. There we go, cap lemon lime is in. Now it's asking for the flavor apprentice sweetener. Actually, next episode, I'm going to figure out how to put the actual recipe on the screen at the same time, too, so you can see that, too. 
that would be cool. This OBS software is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so next up, Flavor Prentice Sweetener, it's 2%, so that's 0.6 grams. There we go, sweetener is in, followed by Capella Jelly Candy. Capella Jelly Candy is in at 5%. Stuff smells good, just like candy. 5% says so uh, 1.5 grams. Always tear your skill out, too. There we go. Paula Jelly Candy is in. I apologize for all the dinging. I have like five different devices that I can't ever shut off every single one. There's always one I forget and I apologize for that. Hope it doesn't bug you, but usually it's a subscriber asking me a question, which I'm pretty good about getting back to you all. So that's just me paying attention to you guys. So please don't mind now, okay? All right, so Jelly Candy is in. Followed by a Capella Juicy Orange. And that's in at 4%, so that's 1.2 grams. Now I can smell this stuff from here. Mm. It's going to be a good mix, I have a feeling. And this one shouldn't take too long to steep either. Because there's no creams, it's mainly fruit. Okay, so Juicy Peaches in, followed by, oh wait, no, Juicy Peaches next. Almost skipped over it. See, that's why you put your your uh, flavors to the side that you've already done. That way you don't lose your spot while you're mixing. Okay, so this is not 1%, so that's 0.3. That should do it. Alright. Next up is Sweet Raspberry. And Sweet Raspberry is in at 2% or 0.62 grams. Go. Sweet raspberry is in. One of the best raspberry flavors, in my opinion. Okay, next up, sour. I haven't made so many candies, so I haven't really used TFA sour much either. Doesn't really smell like anything, it's just an additive. So this is in at 0.3. And you know what we'll do too? Tomorrow we'll actually do a taste test of this mix because it's a fruit mix. It's probably not going to take long to steep at all. Probably by tomorrow it'll probably be perfect, honestly. So tomorrow we'll test this out and we'll see how it is. And then that way it'll have some time for me to get comments on my videos. And if anybody has any input about this mix, we can adjust it. So that would be pretty cool. Okay, so last up is Flavor West Yumberry. Mm, I love these mixed berry ones. Alright, this is at 3%, so it's 0.94. There we go. Yumberry is in. Vape break. Oh, it's so good, guys. All up in that blue nuts. <laughs> Sorry, that was inappropriate. Okay. 
Now it's time for nicotine. And when you're dealing with nicotine people, always wear safety precautions such as gloves, minimum. Or use face mask, apron. Just be careful, guys. Make sure you're paying much attention to what you're doing while you're doing it. Because this stuff is essentially a poison in this concentration. Keep it away from pets and children. And that is my lecture for the daily video. I'm a laid back guy, but when it comes to this, you guys need to take it seriously. Because I don't want to see you, see you guys get hurt, okay? Alright, so this is in that 0.93 grams to make it milligrams so 0.93 I do suggest if you're doing things by weight do it as using a dropper bottle for your neck like this too it makes things so much easier and it does add a little bit more safety to it too okay I like to wipe off the top with a paper towel and clean it off, make sure there's no, no residue. So when I have to move the bottle, my gloves are off. There's no nicotine left on the cap. Alright, so we're going to tear that out. Now it's time to add the VG. We need 29.51 grams. Hopefully I have enough VG left in this bottle. been using a lot of VG lately. But that's no problem, I got plenty of it. Twenty nine point five one. Oh, there we go. So now we're gonna mix that bad boy up. With my little handy dandy mixer. Trying to get you guys a good camera angle. All you want to do is just make sure there's a whole bunch of bubbles in there, just so it blends all nicely. You don't have to go too crazy, but nice milky consistency is kind of where you want to be. We are already pretty much where we need to be. That's all it takes, guys. Not too long, just a couple seconds. Oh, guys, mm. smells really good. All right, so that there. Grab the flannel. I'm just gonna do it right here because it's so hard to bend over there and do it. But pretty much, just pour it in a funnel, and it goes in the bottle. Like so. Sometimes you might need to lift it up a little bit just so some air can get through. And it just comes all the way down. Alright. Now you just put your lid on. And you cap her up. And presto change you. Get yourself a finished bottle of e-liquid. So guys, uh, I believe right after I do this, I'm going to do a coil making video. I really want to show people the basics of using an RDA because I can't stress enough how essential using a dripper is while you mix your own liquids. Because you need to be able to taste what you're doing. And to put it on one tank is just really, really ineffective and not practical. So I'm going to show you the basic use of an RDA. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. Tomorrow's video we will test this because it should only need, need a day steep because it's pretty much just 
candy but just fruit there's no creams no bakeries so we should be pretty good for tomorrow so we'll test that i'll have a nice fresh mix probably something different something that i've done quite a few times just to get some like uh, better recipes flowing but if you know anybody who is new to mixing or you're a part of any group share my video share it out wide it really helps to uh, introduce my videos to new people and it means a lot to you I notice all the new subscribers and all the comments on the video I really love your feedback you know I love the fact of I love the community factor of the vape community especially the mixing community because we are the future mixing is the future of vaping whether some people like what that or not it is the future and we are the strongest part I mean how long ago was it where like you used to have to buy buy liquids and spend so much money and barely know if you have enough liquid to get through the week now look at this guys these are just some but these are uh 240 milliliter bottles okay here's another 120 i'm never going vape bliss okay and you if you're new to diy you can do the same thing too and this is definitely the place for you to get there so again Please like this video, like the video, and please subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I will catch you guys tomorrow. You guys have yourselves a great day.